First on four, the big story today, President Biden announcing an executive order to enact significant restrictions on migrants seeking asylum at the border. The action has been long anticipated by the Biden administration and the announcement was officially made just after 1 p.m. today. So today I'm moving past Republican obstruction and using the executive authorities available to me as president to do what I can on my own to address the border. Frankly, I would have preferred to address this issue through a bipartisan legislation. presidential election and is set to go into effect immediately. So what's all included? It bars migrants from being granted asylum at times when the southern border is being overwhelmed. They set that threshold at 2,500 border encounters a day. The restrictions would be in effect for two weeks after encounter numbers fall below 1,500 per day. That means migrants who show up at the border and do not express fear of returning to their home countries would be immediately removed. Now, even before the president made the announcement today, Republicans in the Senate were quick to criticize the move, calling into question the timing of the announcement. Just five months before Election Day, both senators from Texas weighing in on today's announcement. The only question anyone should ask is, why didn't you do this in 2021? Why didn't you do this in 2022? Why didn't you do this in 2023? Why didn't you do this last month or the month before or the month before? It's a fig leaf. He has absolutely no intention of actually enforcing any of this. If he did, he would have done enforce the law, as we've heard time and time again uh, at the beginning of his administration, rather than piecemeal dismantle through all these executive orders you've heard about. Now, Senator Cornyn also says he doesn't consider this an improvement and doesn't think it'll have any type of an impact on what's happening right now at the border. Now, during today's big announcement, the president was joined by San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg, along with Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar. They were joined by the leaders of other border cities and both said they support the action taken today as a step in the right direction. We are on the front lines dealing with these issues every single day. Uh, a crisis uh, that has been uh, just exacerbating cities because of the inaction of Congress. So grateful for the president taking a step in the right direction. I see this as a, as a viable solution. I wholeheartedly support President Biden in this effort. Sheriff Javier Salazar says he doesn't feel it's a perfect solution, but rather a good starting point that is worth a try. But of course, today's action is expected to be felt by people not only here in San Antonio, but in communities located up and down the border. News for San Antonio's Ethan Trejo has been working to get reactions to today's decision and what property owners think will change. Ethan, good evening. Hey guys, that executive order from President Biden looks to make significant impact along that U.S. and Mexico border. But for ranchers here in Texas, they're not so sure that that impact will actually be that big. It's created problems for us. We have Bill Martin owns a ranch about 16 miles from the Rio Grande. He says that he's not hopeful that this order will make any difference for ranchers like himself. I, I kind of laugh at that figure, 2,500, because that's the ones you count. You, there's so many slipping in that they don't know about. And on a daily basis, I see Border Patrol all over the ranch tracking groups, individuals, and I wouldn't want to guess how many they catch, but it's probably less than 50 percent. Mayor Ron Nirenberg and Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar say that they're supportive of the attempt to tackle an issue that they say has become out of hand for nearly every city in Texas. A safe and orderly border is essential to a compassionate response in our immigration system. I'm about, about 200 miles inland, and I do absolutely consider myself a border sheriff. This is all of our problem uh, in the state of Texas, but I see this as a, as a viable solution. Martin says that especially during the summer months, officials should move away from viewing this as a political issue. Like I said, there is a humanitarian issue. When you see a, a dead girl out there on your ranch, as I have, and she, and she had no ID because the people she was traveling with took them took that with it, with them as well as her shoes. Uh, it's a it's hard. It's a tough situation. It's a tough situation. Well, we'll have to wait and see how that executive order impacts us here in San Antonio. Both Mayor Ron Nirenberg and Sheriff Salazar are set to fly back from Washington, D.C. to San Antonio today. We'll be sure to bring you those updates as soon as we get them. Eden Trejo, News 4, San Antonio.
All right, Ethan, thank you for that. Tonight, we did receive a statement from the mayor of Eagle Pass, Rolando Salinas, who says he was not invited to D.C. for the rollout of the president's executive orders. He says he welcomes the action, but also says, quote, as a border mayor, I welcome any action that limits the amount of people crossing illegally into our city. However, I can't help but question why this was not done last year. If you'll remember just last year, the border town saw an unprecedented rate of migrants crossing the border illegally. There were as many as two to 3,000 migrants seen there per day. Since then, that number has plummeted. Melissa Vega is standing by at the live desk with more reaction from today's announcement by the president. Mel? Well, we are continuing to follow that latest reaction for you on the president's executive order on migrants seeking asylum. And we are following a live picture from Capitol Hill. And just a short time ago, some members of Congress and immigration advocates responding, calling it a disappointment, a step in the wrong direction. And now there's legal action coming. The ACLU of Texas saying on social media, the Biden administration's newest executive order will severely restrict people's right to seek asylum, putting tens of thousands of lives at risk. Blocking the right to seek safety was illegal when Trump did it, and it's illegal now. The ACLU will sue. Back in 2018, the Trump administration tried to enact similar border restrictions, but courts blocked them. The Biden administration says the Department of Justice now prepared to take on any lawsuits. The political fight, legal battle over the border, far from over. But the president saying his goal to deliver decisions on asylum as quickly as possible. Jonathan.